I ran the endoscope up the siphon jet and found that clear. I could even see the two openings uh, from the rim that feed the siphon jet. I put the scope up the trapway and from what little I could see that looks clear. And I put the scope down here as far as I could put it and what rim holes I could see looked clear. I also stuck the scope down through the trapway from the bottom of the bowl and could see nothing. Next I am going to give this another muriatic soak and see if uh, there is anything actually up in the rim. What I think I'll do is turn the toilet to its side uh, so that the acid actually gets up into the rim. And then once this is acid cleaned I'll test it again. And if it still doesn't work then uh, this toilet is a piece of junk and was probably defective uh, from the beginning and of course that's probably why whoever got rid of it got rid of it. And if that's the case, then this is going to the dump. Okay, here goes. As you can see, I'm wearing two sets of gloves. The little gray ones I had on earlier and then these. I don't want to take a chance of any of this getting on me. I'm going to pour into here. You can see it coming through here. It's not having the reaction like it did two years ago when, when it turned yellow. Although I just got a whiff of the fumes. Okay, the 1970 Cadet Bowl has been acid cleaned once again. As you recall, I poured the acid down through here. Made it fill up into the bowl. Then I lifted the bowl up and let the acid go into the siphon jet for a little bit. But then I kept tilting the bowl on its side so that the acid would go up into the rim. And I did see a lot of fuming during that part. So maybe there was something up in there that the acid was eating away. Now the only thing left to do is put this on the test stand and see if there's any improvement. This is September 15th, 2019. This toilet was last set up in the shed bathroom two years ago. I thought I'd had it fixed and it was performing well, but all of a sudden it failed miserably. It wouldn't flush. All the water would do was swirl and it actually plugged a couple of times. Earlier in the video, you saw that I treated the bowl again with muriatic acid. Um, I turned the bowl so the acid went up into the rim holes in hopes that it would clear anything out there. I had also scoped the toilet uh, with my Depstec scope and what little I could see uh, confirmed that the siphon jet was clear. So anyway, the tank is full and we'll start with a dry bowl and from this angle here. And let's see what actually happens. Okay, the bowl siphoned out on a dry flush. We'll fill it up again and flush it again. Uh, with a normal water level. The tank and bowl are full and here is a normal flush. and you would hear the tilt valve close. That was actually pretty good. Now a close-up of the trapway in the jet.
once again, it worked perfectly. Now for some flush tests with actual material. In the past, I've only used leaves. Today, I'm starting with a banana peel. I fished this out of the trash this morning. And it's a floater. Let's see what happens. I don't know if you can see it under there, but I can. It took it. I'm going to put that back in. Then we'll add more. Okay, the banana peel. One, two, three, four. Four apples that fell by the side of the road. They're just going to sit there and rot, so I'm going to use them and pretend they're golf balls. Before I go any further, I just want to mention that if you are performing experiments on a toilet, it should not be on one that is actually in use or connected to a sewage system or a septic tank, because you can either clog up your pipes or uh, uh, create quite a mess with your septic system. So only do this um, on a toilet that's set up outside like this is. All right, let's see what happens. can see they all went through. Amazing. All right, we're going to put all this back in. And add three more apples and a puffball mushroom. Here goes. The seven apples came out, so did the banana peel, but I can't find the puffball. Uh, so it may still be in there. So what I'm going to try next are the seven apples, the banana peel, and two pieces of paper towels. Once again, never flush paper towels. Uh, I know someone who did that, and it wasn't me, uh, who cleaned up a mess in his bathroom and flushed paper towels down the toilet and clogged his entire house drain up. He was without a bathroom for two days until they had to jet the septic tank. Okay, let's see what happens here. Once again, a success. In that flush, all seven apples came out, as did the puffball and the two pieces of paper towel. Excellent job, 1970 cadet. I think I'm going to keep you. Two. Four. Six, six apples. There should be seven. Okay, I couldn't find the seventh apple, so it may have done the same thing uh, that happened to the puffball. So we're going to put all of this back in, and this is a wad of two paper towels. Here we go. <laughs>
Once again, it all appeared to go down. That seventh apple had flushed out on the try before last. It just shot over to the side and I found it out here. So anyway, all seven apples are back in the bowl along with the puff ball, the banana peel, and the two single wads of paper towels and the one double. And then I added a few leaves. Here goes. Once again, it did great. Okay, after that flush, the uh, paper towels all came back, so did the seven apples and the banana peel, which has been ripped apart, but I don't see the puff bowl. Um, I'm going to give this a flush with nothing else in it to see if the puff ball comes out. Now I'll go looking. There's the puffball that blew out the side. So here is all of my test material except for the leaves and the paper towels. It all went through. The toilet performed extremely well. So here is the 1970 Cadet with his tank lid on. The toilet has passed with its second acid cleaning. And I'm going to say that it has been restored to good health. The correct thing to do would be to install it and test it for a few weeks. But I'm not going to do that. It's too late in the year and uh, right now we like our ping gelcher too much to take it out. So I'll conclude with one more flush of the 1970 American Standard Cadet. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.